I'm Louisa Saint Bartholomew Brown. So I got involved with It's My Show back in 2007, I think. Um, so nearly 10 years ago. Um, it was. I met Roger um, here, having a coffee. Basically, I heard about It's My Shell because one of my course mates who works for BBC, she posted a status on Facebook group say, yeah, there's a scheme here. If you are interested, you can apply for it. And lots of people started their career from there, so it's highly recommended. The opportunity that It's My Shell to provide a great for a lot of people. Um, we work with two communities and we work really closely with those. Getting into this industry is difficult, it's not easy, uh, but it's such a great way in for young people in front of the camera and behind the camera. The scheme is that we go to places that are probably not really associated with the film and TV industry. I feel It's My Shout is bringing so much and you know, I've spent a year looking for work experience and everyone's turned me down because I haven't got the experience or I haven't got the show real. But It's My Shout is just opening it up for people from all backgrounds, from all experience, and it's sort of letting people have that taste of that opportunity, which we, so many of us need. My experience with this my shout was excellent. It was really good. Um, uh, there's, as well as, you know, sort of it being a long process and you're getting to learn about the every stage of development of production and pre-production and post-production. Being part of Made in Wales's short film Baramenin was lots of fun and I met lots of lovely and interesting people who were really happy to share their experiences and knowledge of their department. The highlight of my experience is working with a different with, a, with people I'd never met before and feeling that there was a huge buzz you know, the atmosphere was, and it was a beautiful sunny day. It was brilliant working with professionals. I've worked, um, I did student films at uni, but it's a whole different atmosphere working with your mates to working with professionals, but they were all so lovely and so open and so willing to talk to me about their experiences, how they got started and giving me tips and just giving me that encouragement of, you know, you're gonna get no's, but you will get there eventually, you know, don't give up. So it was really fab. Because he really, really jaya can her geometra canta and see the ski lot or proviad. I think that the most important thing I learned was the importance of working in a team. I learned about how to manage better, how to manage people. I learned also how to uh, be more confident as well. Man, Greg, I think we have a bubble, save a lot of root for death. And I'm not in Quisio River Ball, I'm not just even there as doing a dive, I was up in the back and board. So, a girl, a Kumskev of a ball, no with, I said, as my colleague, she should really have a perverted mouth, have a ball really privatal, and my perverted and then kind of rip you off, ever, ever die, ochre, so I didn't think how I fight a knee now with. We're all, every single department is equally as important in doing a job towards the end product. Um, you know, whether it be makeup, whether it be costume, whether it be art department, um, even the catering. I would say that the highlight of the It's My Shout experience was seeing how generous spirited a lot of the mentors were. Over the years I've worked with technicians, production crew, engineers who haven't really wanted to share their knowledge. They can be territorial and they see any young people entering the industry as a bit of a threat. The mentors we worked with, they were all so giving because they are sensible enough to see that if we don't train up new people, this industry, which is flourishing in Wales at the moment, is not going to have a future. When Roger asked me to go back to It's My Shout, I then became a mentor um, for the other trainees, which was really great for me. I thought that was you know, to have that, to, act, to be asked back as well. And then I met some really great trainees 
who I then mentored and took on and now they are working. Being a mentor is very rewarding and, and, and quite satisfying really to see, see these people coming through. What I do learn from that is to see we really have got an abundance of talents in Wales. It just needs nurturing through. Give these people some time, help them on their way and we, you know we're a very, very strong, creative nation. Mm. Oh. Mm. Oh. 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 To get access to to professional experience is, is is within this industry anyway. It's invaluable. I think it's my shout is enriching communities in that it's involving everyone in Wales. I think it's been recommended to me. I've, I'm friends with a number of writers, and they all say it's one of the best schemes in the UK, if not the best scheme in the UK for developing writing talent. Um, working really hard as a trainee, and you know, working right through, um, put, putting the hours in to then being on set with Mal Street, uh, watching his sing, listening to Johnny Depp talk, you know, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a big winner. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-